In this video from Sharp Help, uh, we're taking a look at how to program your XEA137 register via the software and SD card. Uh, this video presumes a couple of things. It presumes A, that you've downloaded and installed the XEA137 programming software. Uh, and it also presumes that you've formatted your SD card in the TIL and also um, backed up the default TIL programming from the TIL to the SD card. So if you've not done those two things, then please see my previous two videos in this playlist, which will show you how to do those. If you have, then the only other thing I've done is I've now popped the SD card into the PC. Uh, and I'm now gonna open the PC Link software for the 137. Um, the first thing you need to do when you open the software is to get the data from the SD card. So to do that, go to all, um, all to SD, and then we choose from here, there's our folder. So you need to choose your folder, ECR, cross, 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 14. And then we want all from SD. Do you want to execute import? Yes. What this is doing is sending the default programming um, for the register that you put on the SD card to the software. So the software will now, when you send the software the program from the software back to the SD card, it'll do it in the correct format. Okay, and then programming is really easy. Um, so if we want to program a couple of departments, you just simply highlight the department, um, pop in your text, you can pop in a price here if necessary, select your tax rate. Um, we'll keep this one as open. Same with this one. And then if we put on a 5% VAT department, perhaps for a pharmacy, 5% VAT, we're going to have that at tax rate 2, no price, and then we'll have a preset sales. We'll just for now, we'll call it £5 entry, tax rate 1 again, £5 is the price, preset. You can have it as preset and open, but we're going to have this one just as preset. Um, and then we can, we're happy with that information. I'm going to send that to SD now. So it's saved. PLU, I'm not going to program any PLUs, but the process is the same. You select your PLU, pop in your description and price. Um, I'll tell you what, let's pop one in. Logos not available, graphic logos only available on the XEA 147, not the 137. Okay, so this is a good reason for importing um, the default programming from the SD card. A, you have to because it won't work otherwise, but it also shows you how to get the default um, sharp receipt header on there. So th this is what's on the tiller's default. Uh, each line you've got six um, lines and you can have up to. 30 characters per line, but it does a cent it doesn't do centering or bold as um, as standard. So I'm going to center mine, but I'm also they're going to keep these underscores in because it'll make it bold. And I'll show you if you follow my videos all the way through. I'll show you what it what it looks like. So we can check that that's going to be centered. The underscore here makes the next character bold. Um, we've got 30 characters in total available to us. That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we've got 12 left over, so we need six spaces at the start. And that's what that's put in, I think. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that should be bang on centre. I'm going to put the website in, but not in uppercase. See www.sharphelp.co.uk. So that's 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19 leaves 11, so again we need 6. It's not going to be quite bang on, but it's as close as we can get it um, to being central. And then a phone number. So that's going to be 6, 7, 5 makes it 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we need to have how many spaces? Another 7 spaces really, so I can just nudge that on 1. It's a lot easier programming things like this on the software or in the software as opposed to doing it manually through the till, but it is possible. Get rid of these for now. Okay, then tax settings are also covered in here. So I want a couple of different tax rates up. 20% tax rate one, 5% tax rate two. That's perfect. Send to SD. Okay, so Brill, yeah, that's my all my programming that I want to do. Obviously, you can spend a bit more time on it and program more departments and more PLUs, um, but for the speed of the video to keep it to a manageable time, um, that's how I'll do it. What I'll now do is take out my SD card and then I'll go and um, download the program to the till so you can see how that works. So that video will be following, uh, appearing on screen now. So you're welcome to watch that video. Uh, we've also got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the XEA137 and other sharp cash registers, so feel free to check those out as well. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.